I'm going to do is smoked haddock fish pie and this is fat free there's no fat in it at all okay what you need is two pounds of haddock this is frozen there's no bones in this at all you need one pint of milk semi skim milk not full fat you need four ounces of mushrooms chopped chopped small chopped mushrooms four ounces of peas the garden piece is preferable because it stays firm. You need one and a half pounds of potatoes. These have to be peeled and mashed very, very finely. You need five tablespoons of yogurt. That is five tablespoons of low fat yogurt. You need three tablespoons of corn flour. This is the same as corn flour, so it's no difference and you need one ounce of cheese grated cheese that is one ounce of grated cheese low fat cheese and now we shall start to cook in one pint of milk into a pan a flat bottom pan is preferable because the fish lays flat and then you put your fish in to the, to the milk there we go fish into the milk and you simmer the, um, simmer the fish, don't boil it because you'll burn the milk. Just simmer it very, very slowly for five minutes only. Just five minutes. And now we should do the next stage. Okay, while this is simmering, these are the potatoes that's been chopped, peeled, chopped and boiled. See, it's already soft. That's soft, but leave it for a little bit longer. There, that's soft. A few minutes more and that's ready for sm uh, mashing. This is a freshly grown onion. See, these are all my onions. Okay, this is the, gar this is the onion that I brought in from the garden. Now I'm going to prepare it. You take the roots off and you can use the onion tops as well. Like um, You can use it like spring onions. So it's a lot. I will use them as spring onions. You take the outer skin off just to get some of the earth out of it. And this is absolutely, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Homegrown onions. Absolutely delicious. You can't get better than that. Okay, let's just wash it. Get the earth out of it very carefully that's it, don't get me sure the earth is out of it also give me pretty and that is absolutely, that's a perfect onion center, look at that there you are, an onion and now we shall chop it to, um, chop it small so you cut it if you've got a chopping machine, you can put this in, um, in your little chopping mixer and chop it. And this is to sprinkle over the potatoes. And I'll show you how that's done in a few minutes' time. Keep it small. And use a little bit of the green as well. I'll save that for later on for another meal, for another recipe, another meal. Bit more green. Mind your fingers, because my knives are very sharp, so be very careful when you're cutting like this. There you go. One. Well, that's just that is just half of the onion I showed you. There's the other half. This is a, that is a lot. And that is the onions done. Okay, and um, the next stage is after five minutes with the, with the milk and the fish, you add the mushrooms, chopped mushrooms, with the fish, and you add the peas, and leave this for another five minutes simmering. And while that is simmering, we shall have to um, smash the potatoes up. The plates are cooked. As you can see, it's cooked. Falls off the knife. So I'll take it to the sink and drain the potatoes. 
in a colander, put it back into the warm pot on a bowl, and then you get a potato um, smasher, and you just smash the potatoes up like that. You don't add any butter or anything, just smash the potatoes up very finely. There you are, that's all ready. And just leave that aside for a few minutes. After five minutes, we go back to this and check it. Okay, and let's leave that for a few minutes now to cook. Okay, with the potatoes, just take a handful of onions, or say just a half a handful, sprinkle it over the potatoes, and then you add the yogurt into the potatoes, like, like this. Get it all in there, and then you just stir that in until it's all mixed in into potatoes. Keep going until you can't see anything white. If this will go on top of the fish, and then a little bit of cheese will be sprinkled on the top and goes into the oven. But then we do that to the next stage. You can mix it all in. The reason why you leave it just to cool for a tiny bit when after smashing the potatoes up, so that the yogurt doesn't curl. Leave it for a few minutes. There you go. Okay, the next stage is after five minutes of simmering with the mushrooms and the peas in, just use a slotted spoon and remove the fish and put it into the dish you'll be using for the oven, an oven proof dish. And you put it in there. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of sauce gets in there. Just put it in there. Like that. And there and like that. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of mushrooms or peas get it because we'll be doing that soon. This is just to flake the fish, so it's flaked. But leave that on the oven for the, on the cooker for a minute, for a minute. Okay, all we have to do now is just flake the fish. Leave the skin on because the skin's good for you. There's no bone. Just flake it, not too fine. Just very, very like chunky pieces like that. See, just like that, like that, and like that, and like that. Okay, now we'll have to take the mushrooms out. Spread it about so that when you cut it, everybody can have some a piece of fish. So let's say one person, two, three, and a little bit in the middle for, I don't know, Santa Claus. Okay, now we have to take the mushrooms and the peas, slot that over the fish like that, and get it all in there. You can have more mushrooms if you if you prefer, but if it's too mushroomy, you lose the taste of the fish and everything. Okay. And this serves four people, so if you want to make it for six or eight, you just have to double the amount. And if it's nice enough, it can just be for one person because it's absolutely delicious. And when you do have it, you have it with a tiny bit of mustard or a little pickle of some kind. But this is all the peas and everything in there. Peas and the mushrooms in there. Okay. One more mushroom in there, and a bit of mushroom in there. Leave the milk in the pan. Leave the milk. Leave the milk in the pan because then we will just make a thick sauce and pour it over this. Okay, into a little dish or a cup or something, put your three tablespoons of corn flour. This is a thickening sauce makes a new one and it's, it's exactly the same and then you add a little bit of um, the hot sauce into the corn flour like that you make it into a paste stir it yeah, as long as you follow the instructions on the back of the packet for corn flour or any thickening sauce you shouldn't go wrong keep doing that there you go see that's um that's nice and thick look and then you add it to the rest of the sauce. I have to use a wooden spoon because it would scratch the... And you add it slowly in there and stir it, stir it in, stir it in. Okay, this is the thickness of the sauce it should be. If your sauce is a little bit weak, just keep adding a tiny bit of the, make on the, a bit of the corn flour until it gets to this thickness. And now what we have to do is to add it to the fish, mushrooms and peas, pour it over, like so, 
and get it all in there like this make sure it's all in and get it in there like that and just spread it very carefully just spread it over you can always add a little bit of um, cooked broccoli just a tiny bit just to give an extra flavor and already cooked peppers if you want um, so that's done now we add the potatoes on the top but well, this is gonna be a bit tricky so just bear with me let's get one in there and get one in there and we have to spread it over the top put it there like that now as if you're making a pie which it is anyway it's a, it's a fish pie and just spread it all over the top of the, the fish You can have a lot more potato if you want, make it quite thick. Just sprinkle the cheese over the top, and this is a no fat cheese, so you can um, don't make it too cheesy or else it gets too greasy. Just, you know, just to make it, um, just give it a bit of flavour, like that. You can always add a, um, some roasted peppers on the top, um, some raw onions, or flavouring. A little bit of onions over the top. If you don't, don't like onions, don't have the onions. See, it's just a little bit, just to flavour it. And now we put this in the oven. Two twenty. Middle shell. Lift and the maximum two twenty between two twenty and two fifty for five minutes and then you put it to two hundred for twenty five to thirty minutes. But check it every now and again. Because some oven heats up quicker than the other. Okay, this is thirty minutes of cooking. And this is a fish pie. See, this is it. That's smoked haddock, no fat fish pie. And I'll just open it for you to have a look and see. Okay, there we go. Very carefully, very, very moist. Oh, this is absolutely scrumptious. Look at that. There we go. Peas, mushrooms. Potatoes and haddock. You can have that with a nice salad. You can have it with some rice. You can have it with pasta as a side dish. You can have it cold. And it's a drop of lemon sprinkle on the top. Squeeze on top of it. Nice.